not only that, but to like just to lead. And I think that's the main issue with clutches sometimes that we just kind of have like the correct voice. And whether it's me or whether it's another player, I think we need that the most. Hey everybody, Parks Azza here with the Shot Collar, joined by Apollo. Uh, we're in the gauntlet right now. You guys just lost to Echo Fox. Mm -hmm. um, it was a it was kind of a bummer of a series. I know that you, I've heard that you've been practicing pretty hard. Mm -hmm. um, so just right off the bat, kind of how are you guys feeling after this loss? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty, it was a pretty bad loss. Uh, we, yeah, we knew it was going to be a close series and all the teams are really strong right now. So, and we, you know, we scrimmed a bunch of them. We scrimmed Echo Fox probably the most. Uh, and yeah, we knew it was going to be a rough series, but I honestly thought we'd do a lot better than this. Um, uh, maybe we didn't prep well, or maybe we just didn't perform well on game day, but yeah, it was just a really crappy loss. And then kind of, I feel like we kind of let everyone down a little bit, you know, it was more. I think we could have gave up more of a fight, but we just got swept. Yeah. Do you feel like it, it was just, you know, not being able to perform on stage? It looked to me as though, you know, after game one and that loss, you guys never really did anything to, to kind of take control over the series. Mm -hmm. um, and I know we actually kind of saw that a little bit in Miami when you faced them mm -hmm. in the last best of five. Um, and there were, of course, technical bugs then as well. Um, there were the first time that you played, uh, it's seeming like every time you play against them, you know, something happens. Um, but it, it did look kind of like you gave up a little bit mm -hmm. in the end. Do you feel like you were just kind of disheartened after the, the earlier games? I don't think we, well, at least in my mind, I didn't really feel like we gave up. I, I don't think we put up, I mean... I just think they're a lot better at being proactive than we are, and they're always willing to fight, and I think we're just not the same, right? And I think that's why they match up very well versus us, is when they fight, we just don't really know how to respond correctly, whether it is to fight back or to, like, trade sides. Uh, it just doesn't feel like we're we're making the correct play. Um, maybe it does look like we're, like, giving up in a sense, but it's just because I think they're just, like, kind of outclassing us or maybe just playing better as a team. That's the main issue. Yeah, and sorry, I didn't mean give up, actually, so I, I apologize for that. Um, so what then do you feel like is, you know, something for you personally to look forward to? I know that, you know, that I don't, you know, I don't want to talk about the team, really. Um, but, like, for you, what, what are kind of your thoughts and your reflections on this split, um, you know, your, your year with Clutch, and, you know, what you feel like you grew and, and accomplished and what you're hoping to do in the future? I mean, I think overall, the, you know, our, our year, my year on clutch was pretty good. I think I learned a lot and I got a lot better. Um, I definitely stagnated towards the end. And I, you know, I think a lot of people kind of saw that. And, and I agree. It's like I, I didn't really play well towards the end of the end of the year. And I just want to make sure that when I come back for next year, I'm like fully reset and willing to improve again, willing to learn and not not only that, but to like just to lead. And I think that's the main issue with clutches sometimes that we just kind of have like the correct voice and whether it's me or whether it's another player, I think we need that the most. Yeah. And I guess that would make sense too, as far as like kind of struggling to find some of the ability to be proactive is mm -hmm. not having that voice. Is that something that you, you know, wish that you were, um, is that, you know, like a desire that you have to kind of be a, a very strong voice or is it just something that your team needs? And I think it's definitely, it's what we need and not and also what I need to you know need to work on and then to learn because first off it's a really good skill to have and I think it's just super important to have on a team and I'm at the point in my career where I'm a veteran and my skill is not going to get insanely like it's not going to get so much higher where like I can prove where I, I can prove myself that I don't necessarily need to have that kind of ability um, so if that's not the case like I need to improve as a player not only like through mechanical skill but also just mainly through leadership and like shot calling so that's what that's what yeah that's what it takes how does that work as something to improve on in the off season because i would say you know in the off season it's like ah you grind out mm -hmm. you get better at, at small mechanics and matchups and things how how do you kind of practice some of that ability uh when you're not you know in this team setting uh i mean quick answers you probably can't really do it very well but that's it's more of like a mindset thing maybe and just having like the right mentality going into the next split. Um, and yeah, I think that's all it is really. Uh, I'm not going to change my personality or my, like my traits overnight, but it's something that I can look to improve on and look to 
like just kind of focus on for next split or next season? I definitely don't think anyone wants you to change your personality. <laughs> um, very much appreciated. Um, do you have any other plans for the off season? You know, I, I imagine you want to take a break. Uh, it's been kind of a long yeah. uh, season for you guys, uh, kind of a struggle. So what are, what are your plans to kind of, you know, rest and, and recover for a little bit? I haven't thought of any plans, honestly. I, uh, I was mainly just kind of prepping for the match and obviously hoping to go to Worlds. But uh, I'm just going to relax. I'm not going to play too much league uh, recent or for now, but you know, get back into it later. Um, I'm just going to relax. Maybe Actually, I don't even want to travel. I don't know what I'm going to do. Visit family. I'm actually probably going to visit family. Yeah. That's a good answer. Um, well, cool. Thank you so much. Do you have anything else that you want to add before we go? Uh, you know, thank you guys for, uh, supporting us. We, I know, I, I wish we did a lot better. Um, yeah, I think it was just kind of an anticlimactic gauntlet run for us. And I knew we were the underdogs, but I wanted to put up a, a lot better fight and, uh, we'll see you guys next season. You know, hope you guys, uh, cheer us for, uh, cheer for us then. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. To see some more Shot Collar League of Legends content, you can find some videos off to the side or like and subscribe. And also please share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time.